Today I'm going to talk about my scrolling LED sign and how to make one. Let's check it out. Well, first, let's take a look at my system here in case you've never seen it before. It's got the Bozak there in the middle, rotary mixer. Above that is the Duro um, meters, VU meters. And then the uh, turntables are the Techniques SL1200 GLDs, the gold plated ones. And on top of that, I got two regular 1200 Mark IIs. And uh, I'm using tractor. And there's a tractor um, controller out there on the right. It's the one I mainly use. There's one on the left, but I never use that one. And what we're going to be talking about now is the the scrolling LED sign there on the bottom. It looks like it's, it's skipping some lines this way, but that's mainly in the video because the frame rate is making it look like it's skipping, but it, it's not skipping. If you look at it without the camera, it looks normal. Anyways, the, the scroll sign is actually made for a pickup truck. I got it on eBay. They cost about 20 to 25 bucks. It's a uh, if you're looking for one, just do a search for a scrolling LED sign on eBay, and you'll find them. They come with a, it comes with two suction cups. They mount right here. And when the way you use it in a truck, you stick it on your back window, so the cars behind you could see the scrolling LED signs, whether you want to advertise something or tell them to quit tailgating, whatever you want to put down. It's got um. It comes with a remote that looks like a, a TV remote. And um, you use the remote to program the sign. It's got eight memories, so you can put eight messages on there. Each message is, um, you can have 20, I mean, two, you can have 256 characters in each message. And you can pick any message you want, and you can pick them with your remote. Just hit a button. And uh, you could have program one and hit enter and it'll switch over to program one. That's what mine says right there. And then you hit it again and you hit the number two and hit enter. And that's number two. That's my second message. You can have up to eight different ones. And you just type them on the, on the remote control. And that's how you program and when you shut it off it, it remembers the memories even if you unplug it you, to um it comes with a cigarette lighter when you first buy it so what you have to do you have to get a, a wall transformer kind of like this you probably have one in your junk drawer somewhere so you could buy one it's got to be 120 volts Input on the output has got to be 12 volts DC. It's got to be DC, not AC. Because this thing runs off 12 volts DC. And what you do is you take your transformer and you cut off the plug. You cut off the plug right here. And then you, you uh, strip the wires back. And then you do the same thing with the, with the wire that comes with the remote. I mean with the LED sign. You cut off the cigarette lighter plug and then you... Uh, wire this wire you attach this wire to the wire that goes to that to the remote you got to go positive to positive negative to negative if, if you wire up wrong it won't work so if it doesn't work just switch swap the wires and it should work and uh, to mount the sign I bought this little metal plate it's uh, a rack 19 inch rack blank plate I got it at Guitar Center I think they cost like 15 20 bucks and then I took off the suction cups and then I just drilled a couple of holes and I zip screwed the, the sign to the to the flat plate and then I painted the, the screws black with a sharpie and that's all there is to it nothing to it they're not that, they're not so, you know, I think I got, you know, less than 50 bucks in a sign. 
I already had the transformer, so if you got to buy a transformer, add another 10 bucks, but you probably got one somewhere, if you're like me. Anyway, that's how you hook it up. Pretty simple. Hope you enjoyed it. If you make one, let me know. Thanks.